Um, the game was probably one of my easiest games in my entire USCL career, and I did play. I, I played a lot of games over the years, um, and I believe that's the first opponent that talked trash before the game. Um, there's a very good Russian expression that it's okay to talk trash after you come from the battle, but not go into the battle. So, yeah, I saw he was talking trash. I decided not to respond. Um, uh, it's he played very badly. You know, he he actually played worse than the uh, local Harris we have uh, here in New England, which is wow, kind of unbelievable. That so, bad, huh? Yeah. So here we have the. <laughs> We have the position on the board here, I guess, uh, in this position, you're, you're sort of clearly winning. Jorge thought that you, uh, you, you probably had a game of, game of the week uh, winning attack in this position, but uh, I think you sort of maybe refuted that in the analysis with, uh, with the help of Shahadi, the league commissioner. Well, it's mostly Greg trying to refute it, but nah, yeah. when your opponent plays so poorly, you have no chance for game of the week. I mean, that's just, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see what they wrote before the game, so... Uh, Something about sending us to Chinatown, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, I guess this time we talk uh, on the board before I make any predictions, which I'll never do again, by the way. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, that's the last time I talk before the game, but... Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was dicey for a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Ilya's game seemed to be in the bag pretty much. Most of the guys. As soon as the guy played the Dutch, I knew he was toast because Ilya plays his bishop g5 crap and, and it's just over. And, you know, nobody knows how to play against that except me. But, um, we um, haven't faced each other in that defense yet. We will. We will. Well, I mean, when I came in, I came late tonight. And um, yeah, I thought I was losing. You know, I mean, technically, it's worse. I mean, of course, he found ways, thanks to his opponent, to create some counterplay. But um, you know, when you look at a position, obviously, you try to be objective, and and you're always assuming that both players will play the best moves. And um, yeah, so I, I definitely, I, I was not, I was just hoping that he was gonna draw. And I was very pleased the way Ilya played. I think it was very convincing. I mean, the line that I was recommending is, is one of those lines that is really. A lie that is really nice if it works, but you don't have to take the chance. You know, Ilya uh, found the easiest way, the most technical way to win. His position is just clearly winning. Um, then we're counting on Mark and winning, and it wasn't looking good for Dennis. So I think we're hoping that Larry, Larry was going to drop. So you know, so he he wins again. You know, it's really hard to say. Uh, we do have a lot, of, you know, a lot of good lineups. Um, Dennis's game has just happened to, uh, you know, I, I know exactly how it feels. Two weeks ago, I lost the game with White, and my opponent came up with a new move. And so the same thing happened to Dennis today. You know, his game looked bad, but okay, so he he got caught in the opening. So it's really hard to say. And Larry had a bad opening too. So. Um, no, I think the lineup that we had today was really nice. You know, we can always use Eugene, but Dean could have replaced Ilya as well. Um, I'm very happy with the lineups that we have so far. Yeah. Um, it's much easier. I can, <laughs> it's much easier to just move tables and chairs around and make sure the computers are connected and. And not have to worry about any backlash from <laughs> from choices I make. But uh, <laughs> and now I now we can all just blame Jorge for all of for all. The, yeah. for but all no, the I, I mean, the, the, I think he set me up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, really, for the most part, I would pick lineups based on who was available, and then choose the best lineup rating-wise that I could at the time. And. Uh, Everybody criticized me for picking this guy or that guy or this guy should be on the team or whatever. And yeah, I was in a good position because, you know, I don't, I don't have to deal with these players, you know, in a tournament. I'm never going to face <laughs> them. I'm not, I'm not their equal by any means, so I can do whatever I want and, and not worry about any repercussions. Who cares? But um, it's definitely easier not to have to deal with that stuff. Now. Okay.
I think he was quite shocked <laughs> by uh, by the by the general team spirit and and the character uh, uh, of this place. You know, we 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 a lot of us have very colorful personalities, and we're not afraid to say things that maybe uh, not always the most appropriate thing but we all know each other really well so we we, we allow ourselves to joke that way um, so I think maybe he was a little taken aback about that um, but I think he had a lot of fun I could see you know I think he enjoyed we we had uh, Larry analyze his game here with Jorge and with all of us and the games were very interesting the match was very tense because at some point we looked like we were maybe losing or at most draw um, so I think he had a lot of fun I mean, I mean, the main thing for them is they need, they need to just basically show up, you know. Uh, what do you think the, the difference is between this year's Carolina and uh, this last year? It's very year? simple. It's just a lack of Millman. And also, of course, uh, their uh, third and fourth board not playing as well. But lack of Millman is huge because basically that top guy, at most, even if he's got white, has to go for a draw because he's playing high, much higher rated opponents. And on three and four, they also not scaring anyone too. So they have a lot, they have a lot of problems. Um, you know, um, I mean, I feel bad for them, but next week when we play them, I don't think I will. It's kind of early to say. I mean, first, obviously, we do want to make it to the, you know to the playoffs. Uh, uh, I mean, it's been two years that we made it to the finals and we lost to Dallas, so uh, believe it or not, I would love to play Dallas again. You know, um, well, it's a challenge, you know, we cannot beat these guys, so, uh, but they're doing it really poorly too. So, uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe San Francisco will be the guys that we're probably going to be facing, assuming knock on wood that we make it, you know. So, um, I used to try not to really think about this, you know. Um, we still have to to beat New York and New York and 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 the teams here. Yes, I mean so far, in, I mean so far in the East, obviously New Jersey is the top team. Uh, so far, we'll I think they're playing uh, Carolina this week. No, no, they're not playing Carolina. Carolina playing Queens? just played Queens, I think so. <clears throat> oh, we're not too sure who they're playing, but I mean I think the record speaks for itself, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean they're four and zero. I mean they're uh, Ippolito. Benjamin Gulko and and the board four, I think is, is a guy. I mean they're they all playing really well. You know, I mean the guys are in yeah, great shape. Is not bad, by the way. I, think I mean uh, they're in great shape. So um, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we'll those are the guys that are probably going to be battling at the end. This year it doesn't matter as much. The previous years when you got the buy and the first round of the playoffs that was that was huge um, now you have to play each round of the playoffs so it's nice to finish first but first first you're gonna make the playoffs that's the first goal and then you gotta uh, see how high you can end up in the division and then go from there but yeah we'd love to win the division obviously we'd love to win every every match I think we should we should expect to win every match I think and that's that's not bravado that's that's how you have to play the game. You have to play to win. And, um, you know, I think we're capable of beating anybody on any given night except for Dallas. Bastard. Come on. <laughs> but, <laughs> that kid. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think we'll see what goes on. We'll, we'll see how it goes out. But we just have to, you know, it's a cliche, but you got to concentrate on the next match, the next game, whatever. But, uh, so we yeah. got to. Go for Carolina, and then we'll see what happens from there. But yeah, um, I want to apologize to all my friends out there for uh, lack of articles. Um, <laughs> I know it seems like there's a lot of uh, teams out there who are a lot more active than we are, and we've always been known as the loudest, uh, most obnoxious team. No, um, no not we, you. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'll try. I'll try to. Uh, I'll try to write something up. <laughs>